everyone so today I am doing a very exciting video I'm going to be doing a comparison and review on the Clio cushions I have the Foundwear, I have the Ampule and I have the Glow one and I believe uh, these are the very popular ones they have they have other ones as well but these are the ones that I have and so I wanted to review them before we start the video if you guys like these kind of videos please don't forget to subscribe and like and leave a comment below telling me which one you like and yeah let's get started so before I get started into the um, descriptions I just want to say all of Clio cushions has SPF 50 and it has UV protection whitening and wrinkle repair so I'm gonna start off with the Vanware cushion first and I'm gonna uh, talk about the products a little bit so the first one the first point is that it provides a flawless coverage with zero clumping point two it says it is 48 hour lasting long with minimal oxidation and crisp finish with a crisp finish number three it provides a velvety finish and it blends seeming, seeming, seamlessly into skin so those are the points for the kill cover uh, foundware cushion that Clio has provided on their website Sec okay so the second one is the kill cover ampule cushion so the first point they have listed on their website is that this one provides flawless skin it shines with ampule and rich luster it has perfect coverage and even skin tone and it conceals imperfection point two high density moisture reaches deep into your skin so it also contains coconut water birch wa birch sugar stuff like that point three is it has perfect coverage with excellent staying power and moisturization so yeah those are the three points for the ample cushion lastly i'm gonna uh, talk about the glow one the glow one has a different packaging it's a pink glass um, packaging and it's really really nice so point one it provides sunlight glow radiating from healthy skin point two real glowing volume that shines transparently and the moisture and glow fills the wrinkles and pores and makes your skin look younger. Number three, um, it has lasting radiance with no breaking. And it has collagen air, hyaluronic acid, um, long lasting moisture without dryness. So yeah, this is all about the intense moisturization. So those are the three points for the glow one. I'm gonna start off with the demo of the Kill Cover Clio Foundware Cushion. So that's the packaging. So I'm gonna do one side, this side, just to compare. So this is the finish of the Foundware cushion. You can see the before and after. Alright, now I have this Foundware cushion on this side. And on this side, I'm going to be putting Kill Cover Ample Cushion on this side. So here's the Ample Cushion. Looks like that. And I'm just going to apply it. Okay, so this is how my whole face looks like. So you can see the, it's a slightly different. Um, for me, what I can see on camera is that this side looks a little brighter, as in a little more radiant. This one looks a little bit more fitted into my skin, like more blended into my skin and more fitted. All right now, um, all right now. So I'm going to apply the glow one on this side. I have erased this side now. I still have the Foundware one on this one, but now I'm gonna apply the glow on this side just to show you the level of glow and comparison and all that. This one I have to pick up a lot because I've used a lot of it. 
All right. This color might look different, obviously, just because this one is in sand. The other ones are all in ginger. So you guys can obviously see that there's like this um, color difference. This is because this one is in sand. It's much more of a better color match for me. But you can see the glow as well. The found white one is pretty glowy. And then you see this one as well. It's, it's also very um, radiant glowy. Like if you can see that. So they're both good glowy, yeah? But this one is a bit more. So yeah, that was it for the demo. Okay, now so I'm going to be talking about each of the products and I'm going to be listing out the level of glow, the coverage, and longevity. And I'm going to talk about also the finish of it and how I felt when I first apply it and um, just a little bit of details from what I think personally. So for the Foundware one, I would say the level of glow is a 3.5 out of 5. The coverage is medium. Um, I feel like all of the Clio cushions are about medium high. You can definitely build it up, but I'll say medium for now. The longevity is 3.5 out of 5. It says 48 la 8 hour lasting power, but I think without setting it with anything, it still kind of erases throughout the day. So yeah, this is why I'm going to give it a 3.5. It's still good. It still remains, but definitely you can see like layers coming off at the end of the day. And the finish is subtle dewy glow and radiant velvet. So yes, it has like a velvet finish, but it's, it makes your skin look very radiant and glowy. So when you first first apply the cushion, you realize the nice subtle glow and you realize how hydrated your face looks. It has, I feel like it didn't really have like an ashy or gray tone when you first applied it. So that is a plus and it provides pretty good coverage. At the end of the day, your face doesn't look oily. It still has that radiant glow. It's, it looks hydrated, um, but not oily. That's the main point. And face, your face whole coverage looks pretty good. It's just, you know, little layers come off, obviously, if you do, the, do something and touch your face. Next is the Kill Cover Ampule Cushion that I'll be talking about. So I'll say the level of glow for this one is a 2.5 or 3 out of 5, a little less than the uh, Foundware one. The coverage, I'll say medium again, medium high, you can build it up. The finish is a semi-matte with a slight glow and it's definitely buildable. You can definitely build this cushion up. So the first feel is you do see a little bit of ashy gray tone on your face when you apply it, but then it gets better uh, after like five minutes. Yeah, you almost feel like it's like a cool tone coverage. After that, it's fine. And then um, I also wrote it has great coverage. It also makes your skin look very clean. And another thing I like about this one is that I feel like it just sticks onto your face really well. And it just looks like part of your skin. So lastly is the glow cushion. The glow cushion, the level of glow is definitely the highest. It is four out of five for me. The coverage is also medium, medium high. Let's say, yeah, for a glow cushion, this definitely has a good coverage. Longevity, I would say three out of five. Um, and the reason I say it's a bit lower than the other two is because this one definitely is the glowiest and I felt like at the end of the day, it can make your face look a little shiny, like a little bit shiny. It's nothing dramatic, but you do have to blot it or you do have to powder it. I feel like because it does produce that moisture and like that glowiness, it does kind of slide a little bit sometimes. So that's why I wrote the longevity is three out of five, just because the layers kind of come off throughout the day because it's mixed in with all the moisture packed things. But still the longevity is pretty good, but not as good as the other two. So the finish is radiant dewy glow and it can, I wrote it can look shiny after a while. So the first feel when I apply this is, whoa, look at the glow. 
um, it can be a little bit overwhelming if you apply too much but just balance it out and it'll be fine it is pretty good coverage as well but it feels like it could be transferable because it's very glowy like it kind of feels a little bit sticky i would say but overall your face looks your face looks really healthy and glowy so now i'm going to be recommending it with certain skin types and the products uh, just to help you guys out so i recommend um, for dry skin and people who suffer with dull skin and need a little bit of boost of radiance definitely get the found wear cushion and the glow cushion these two these two will make your face look radiant it will not make your face feel dry and, and just like healthy looking so definitely recommend that i think you the dry skin people can get away with also using the ampule cushion because this is also pretty moisturizing as well it just looks a little bit more semi-matte than the others so for combination skin i feel like you can get away with using all three of them um but i really prefer the found wear one i have combination skin and i just feel like it's just so perfect on my skin type um, just because the found wear one prov provides a lot of moisture on my cheeks but it doesn't make my t-zone oily or you know feel like really glowy you know what i mean but i feel like it just has this perfect balance for my combination skin maybe just be careful of the glow one if you have a really oily t-zone just because it can look a little oily and for oily skin i would say the ampule one is great just because of the semi-matte finish and um it just really makes you look like it's part of your skin yeah i recommend the ampule i feel like you could you guys could also like the found wear one if you don't mind the kind of glowy radiant look on your face that is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i hope you found this helpful if you have more questions on these cushions please comment down below i will answer them clear cushions are overall really great even their other ones are pretty good don't hesitate to get it <laughs> you will definitely like them um, just know which one you're getting for your skin tone i mean your skin type and you'll be fine and clio definitely all has really good coverage pretty good lasting power it's all very pretty much moisturizing but i don't know about the conceal co <coughs> conceal cushion but these are the top three that i recommend um if you guys enjoyed please don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye